Hey guys, and welcome to this final video um, in the series on how to make 10K a month in your fitness business. And we've been through this uh, process now for the past 10 days or so. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and you've got a lot of value from it. Um, what have we covered so far? Wow, if I just check this out, um, we've covered um, the introduction. Okay, then we started to cover uh, the semi-private model. You know, then we started to cover uh, sales and how important it is to get that right with the correct system and formula around sales. And we talked about systems, you know, a business grows or dies based on the systems uh, that you have that are working or not working. And of course we can always tweak and make adjustments. Then we talked about um, how to get more leads and lead diversification. And we talked about killing the consultation and exactly what to replace it with. Remember the T? Okay. Remember the T? You've got to check that out. Next, we talked about um, growing the team. You know, if you want to grow your business, G-R-O-W, it's going to mean that you need to start to step away from some things, okay? And remember, these are things which are based on my most successful clients, clients who I've got to 10,000 a month in a very short period of time, because once it clicks, it moves fast. Um, and I'll talk about something called lighting the match uh, a little bit later on. Um, and then we talked about the OMG revenue booster. And then, of course, we touched on the use of video. So in this video, um, you can see on the board, we need to talk about the most important part of it all, all right, which is results. Because at the end of the day, okay, it gets dark. That was a joke, which someone said to me, which I thought was funny at the time, and I just randomly said it. Um, at the end of the day, yes, it gets dark, but you have to be able to get results in what you do. Um, and, you know, I've gotten pretty famous for, you know, helping people, uh, helping catapult people in a short period of time. Um, but there's a certain thing that I've done to get me to where I am today, something that you can adopt and something which my clients adopt. Okay. Uh, and I also want to talk about results and some things that really need to be in place for you to elevate and get even better results. And, even, and here's the thing though, guys, if you're getting great, amazing results and you're not, not at 10K a month, there's something going on where you're not leveraging those results, okay? That's the truth of it. So the first thing is, is you've obviously got to be great at the fitness side of things. You've got to be technically good at what you do, okay? Um, you've also, if you've not got your, your nutrition, then of course that plays a massive role in results. So while you can be you know, working with people you know, in the gym and training them, then you also have to be giving them an understanding of nutrition because it's obviously what they eat. And, and I'll be honest, I'm so surprised at uh, the amount of personal trainers that haven't deepened their nutritional skills um, and uh, just have their basic, um, you know, their basic um, personal training qualification. Um, so that's really important too but also understanding the mind, okay? And this is where I talked about the 3D transformation. You've got to understand fitness. You've got to understand, um, you've also got to understand the nutrition, but you've also got to understand be human behavior. Why do people not do certain things? And I'm going to be talking about on this training. Um, and so the thing though is, is that, you know, even if you're getting those results, you know, sometimes that can come from something which we talked about in the sales video, which was, the frequency of training. You know, if someone's training once or twice a week, then you're reliant on them training in the other days a week and doing, you know, their own thing and eating properly. You know, if they're coming in more often, have a think about how many sessions you train. So yes, being technically good. Yes, dialing in the nutrition, understanding the mind, really important. But also training frequency, that's also really important. Um, the next thing is um, one of the most important things which i know that a lot of trainers um fall down on and you know we can all be guilty from time to time is uh accountability okay so in order to get great results we need to hold people accountable now if you're lacking in confidence for example if you have a certain mindset then maybe you have fear around saying what needs to be said to get someone to shift.
because you fear losing them as a client or you fear, you know, in a, maybe a sales conversation saying something which is going to upset them, but you actually lose the sale because you don't say what you feel. So I've been famous for uh, calling people out on their BS. And in fact, I want to tell you a story. Um, about halfway through, uh, since I've been doing this now, um, halfway through, I started to think to myself, why do people hire me? Right. And, and, uh, and fitpreneurs. And, um, and so I put on a new client application and then this is just another system, right? Um, I put on the new client application. What are five reasons why you wanted to hire fitpreneurs or work with Simon? And what the top thing that comes up, okay, in when tracking the results, and again, data is really important to track and what comes up consistently. The top one was results. And I'll share with you some of the things I do to, to share about, share those results. Because if people don't see them, again, then they're not going to know that you get results. But one of the top ones was he says it as it is and he calls people out on their BS. Why? Because you probably see my videos. I'm just brutally honest. Why am I like that? Because the shift that I got in my life, okay, came from my mentors and the people around me, not sugarcoating it, but saying it how it was, not because they wanted to be a dick or not because they wanted to hurt me because they cared about me. Okay. When you have the right intent, okay, and when you can say something which is really honest, you have to understand that when, you, when you're brutally honest with someone, but you say it from that loving place, it creates a certain energy within someone to get them to take action. Okay. Now, let me, let me say that again, okay, just so it, it really sinks in so you understand it. When you challenge someone, it shifts their energy to the point in which they need to move. And unfortunately, you can do that. You can do it somewhat on video and you can do it with information products, but it's never like that personal interaction where someone's looking you in the eye or you're having interaction and they're challenging you based on what you're saying in that moment. And that's coaching. Okay. And so it's a skill in able in, in order to do that. Okay. And so, if you're not challenging your clients and, you, and you're weak in this area, I'll teach you another thing. Challenge develops the masculine energy. Praise develops the feminine energy. It's a great book by David Daida around this, uh, one of my mentors. Um, and he has a great book called The Way of the Superior Man. So understand that when I call someone out on their BS, it's, first of all, it's a reflection on what got me to shift. Okay, because I was living this life and I needed to be snapped out of it. You know, you may have heard the word breaking someone's pattern, you know. And so all it is, is it's creating a new energy. Where it's like, oh, shit. Okay. And stepping outside of the comfort zone. We only do, you know, what we do within our own comfort zone. And that's why I took, you know, my mastermind clients on the Navy SEALs experience. Why? Because I wanted to stretch them and I wanted to stretch myself because I wanted to stretch them. To, to be able to, to face the new challenges which are going to come, come up in their business, which they haven't dealt with yet. And so what we're doing is we're, we're, we're stretching so that then when those things happen, we can deal with them um, a little bit more easily. So I'm a firm believer, and this is just my belief. I've, I firmly believe that some of the biggest shifts are going to come when you get called out in a loving way and pe people aren't willing to tolerate the low standard because here's the truth. If someone says to me, they want to get someone, they want to reach a certain standard, then it's, it's the job to coach, to coach that version, not the way that you might show up normally. Okay. So for example, if you're not getting your clients like super fit and super lean and where they want to be, where they say that they want to get to. Okay. Then have a look at, Yes, is it like the training or is it really because you need to hold clients more accountable? So this is another thing too, which is you need to hold them accountable. But here's the thing, you know, information is just information. That's great. We need to improve our knowledge. With more knowledge, you have more power. That's great. But there's so much knowledge around. There's YouTube videos, there's blogs, there's Google, like books, right? It's audible. You know, there's no shortage of information. That's the thing. And so it's the application of the information that's key. But why don't people apply? Why, when you give them a meal plan, do they not follow it? Why, when you, you know, 
say, you know, turn up to these sessions, do some people not show up? Because you want to work with the top performers. You love it. I guarantee you love it when a client comes to you and they just move. And it's like, wow, this person is committed. Okay. But you've got to show up like that yourself. So when it comes to wanting to make 10K or wanting to help more people or whatever your goal is, okay, this series about, is, is about teaching you what does it really take? Because it takes a high level of commitment. And so while information is really important, accountability is really important too. But that's not enough, okay? There has to be something else. And what do you think that is? It's beginning with C, okay? What do you think that is, okay? The answer is consequences, okay? There has to be consequences for not doing things, okay? And, you know, over the time that, um, that I've been doing this now, it's becoming more and more apparent to me that the level of accountability, you know, needs to improve throughout the whole industry, okay? Have a think to yourself, what gets you to take action? What gets you to move? Yes, it takes us probably a certain type of drive, but if there's consequences in place and you're held up accountable and you've got the right information and you have rapport and you, you jive with that person, then you're going to want to get to your goal. Now, unfortunately, life happens to a lot of people. And so that's why, why we need to clear our environment, remove negative drains. So we've got a clean slate to be able to be able to get to our goal. So if we've got, you know, if we're trying to get to our goal and we've got the accountability, we've got the consequences in place, but we've, we've got all of these negative thoughts that are coming in from different people and they're uh, imposing their beliefs. And we're in an environment where we've got toxic energy around us. That's not going to allow us to grow, which is why peer groups are really important, which is actually why this semi-private is really important too. Working on one-on-one -on -one is great, but when you're working as a team and people are collectively wanting to get to an outcome, that's actually really important because people stay for the community and connection because that's what people want. Um, so have a think about that with yourself. Now, one of the, uh, the things I want to come on to, which is, you know, okay, so you're working with clients and now... The, the always the goal is to raise standards. It's to raise, you know, improve results. And so that's what I'm always stri striving to do at Fitpreneurs is I'm always asking the question, how do we imp improve the results with, with my clients? So when you get results and when you take someone that's been in pain and they've had a challenge and they've not been where they want to be and they're in suffering and they're in self doubt and they're lacking in confidence, and then you come in and then you cultivate this shift and you're helping them now become more confident. They're happier. They're quitting their job. They're, they're, they're getting into a new relationship. All of those things, by the way, sometimes you don't know about because they don't verbalize to you. But just so you know, they care about you and they appreciate you. Um, then it's your job, okay? It's your job to cultivate, okay, and systemize the sharing of those results so that you can generate more results, okay? But this is overlooked. And I find that some trainers do it to a certain degree, but those that are reaching the bigger numbers, they're consistent about this, okay? What are some ways that you can do this, okay? Number one is like mini, mini shares and mini wins, okay? So you may think, well, you know, I need, I need to get a massive transformation and see these like massive before and after pictures. Yes, that's absolutely fantastic. But what about the new PR? What about the new, you know, breakthrough they have with, you know, in a relationship or quitting their job or doing something that you've helped cultivate? All of those small wins, you should be sharing them on Facebook, on social media and doing mini videos and, and, uh, and asking for them. And that's another thing, which is you've got to have the right mindset because if you have fear and you're thinking to yourself, well, I can't ask my client for that because they're going to think badly of me. You have to remember this. People love to share because they care about other people. So if you frame it correctly, I'm always saying to my clients, hey, can, I, can you share a video for me? Are you willing to share that story? And of course, they're happy to because they've gone through a transformation. That's why it's key, by the way, to get before pictures, before they start the transformation and you want to frame it to people saying, listen, 
you know, you might not want to post these on Facebook now, but guarantee you're going to appreciate these at the end of your transformation when you look back and you see the change. If you frame it collect correctly with people, people love to share their wins. Why? They feel good. They feel significant. They want to celebrate. We all want to celebrate the things that we've done well. So just understand that you want to start to systemize that. So for example, you know, when, whenever someone moves, for example, up into my Platinum Mastermind, I always share, um, you know, and get a case study written. I want to share with something with you um, now, which is on actually my website. If I can just bring this up. Da -da -da. Give me a few seconds. Okay. Sorry about that, but this is live. Okay, so this is um, the testimonials page for the Fitpreneurs. And you'll see here that we've got um, you know, a video um, of one of the group calls where there's a really cool share on there. And then we've got all of these different case studies where these are actually written up as interviews. Okay. And um, you can read through and you can see the revenue shifts that people have had and how they've, uh, you know, boosted their income. Um, here's one from Julie goes from 1k per month to 45k per month in contracts in four weeks. So then you can just see there's more and more and more of them. And so, you know, you can lo load all of these um, case studies and there's all these different videos. Um, and so that, that has happened because I've systemized that pro process. Also grabbing pictures out from your Facebook group where people have shared and then blurring it out and circling things in red. Here's the thing. People can only take so much when they see results. And I can remember, you know, when I first hired my mentors, I, I remember particularly, you know, he was sharing so many results and I just got to that point of like, I want those same results. But if you're not sharing them, then people don't know about them. And so that was the top thing that came up on the new client form for me, which was results. And then I was like, wow, if I didn't share those, then no one would know about them. So trust me, guys, if you want one thing, okay, if you just want like one golden nugget of how to catapult yourself, okay, it's by sharing continuously, consistently, okay, the results that you're getting with the video, with screenshots, with a, a blog post which is written in a, in a third person, which is a story, okay, where people can actually read about, not because, you know, not just see the physical change, but read about the story. Why do you think on programs like, you know, I use like Simon Cowell shows, you know, like X Factor, where it's, it's kind of emotional and it's like, it goes into the music and it's like where they were and where they were in their life. Well, there's not just a before and after picture. It's the story. It's the, it's the turmoil. It's the pain that they were, were in in that time. But that means eliciting, eliciting that information out. And oftentimes, when you're not going through the proper enrollment process, you won't really know what the client has been going through because potentially you're having that surface level conversation. Okay, you know, you want to lose weight. Okay, why? You know, I'm going to get fit for a holiday and then they're off. Okay, you don't really know sometimes the deep... Um, the deep pain that someone's been in. And that really comes from, you know, cultivating that relationship and that rapport and really getting to know people. And so I've always been one to open up myself and be vulnerable. And that gives my clients permission to do the same. And so I know more about their stories. And it sometimes brings, it brings me to tears. I've had many a conversation where I've welled up because of the connection I have with the people and the stories of their journey. I, I, I'm looking at you through this camera and we've not met yet, but I want to know what your story is. I want to know why you're really in this industry. You know, I really want to know what your past is and what has gotten you to be here and the things that you've had to overcome. And yes, I'd love to help you with the challenges that are going to come ahead and help, it, help make it an easier process by helping you build your business and helping you change more lives because that's really what I'm doing. But just understand that like, I'm sat here right now because of my story from my my uh, pain and, you know, drugs and alcohol and this, you know, this one time where I was, you know, I was, uh, it was Christmas morning and I was meant to be at my sister's house. And, you know, I looked in the mirror and I'd been taking all dr drugs all night and I was meant to be there at 11 o'clock in the morning and 
spending time with my niece and nephew. And, you know, I, I slept through Christmas dinner and, you know, it, it just got to that point where I was like, I, I actually slept in my nephew's bed after a big night on drugs. And at about, you know, a couple of weeks after that event, I was just so ashamed of myself. I was like, I was living these two lives. You know, part of me was, part of me wanted one thing and was doing one thing, but another part of me was destroying myself and sabotaging and, and drinking every weekend and smoking. And so I was, I was meant to be healthy, but really I was just destroying myself. And I had this inner calling to change and shift. And, and it was when I actually invested in myself that everything started to change, like really properly invested in myself to grow because I was forced, I was forced to really take a hard look at myself and where I was in my life. And when you get the guidance and just like you guys are doing for a lot of people, but you don't fully comprehend it because people, sometimes you don't ask the questions and you, you don't truly know what people have gone through. And so that's why I'm on this never ending journey. And, and if, if, if I continue to grow, I can pull more people up because I've been willing to tackle the shit that most people will never tackle because they just suppress it and hide it away and don't put up their hand for help, especially, um, guys, you know, um, who, who are too proud sometimes to say, Hey, look, I need a helping hand. I've got some shit I need to deal with. Um, so that's why I really just want to shortcut the process of success for people, which is, you know, a big why for me, I wasted so much time of my life. And that's really what you do. You shortcut the process of success for people in, in, instead of trying to figure it out on their own. So you have to share that you know, your story, your message, the pain that you've been through, those that have been pain the most tend to do the biggest things. And I know right now you're playing small because everyone is. And if you want to play at a bigger level, you've got to be held accountable. There has to be consequences, but, all, but most of all, you have to be fully committed. And I don't just mean saying the words. I don't just mean saying, yeah, I'm committed. I mean, properly committed like you've never been committed before where you're like fuck this is going to be scary this is going to be the most i've gotten outside of my comfort zone but i'm willing to go deep within myself and tackle some crazy shit so that i can have the life that never most people will never have but it's going to be need for you to be willing to be told the truth and that's what the, the missing link that so many trainers have is that they're not willing to, to say what they need to say to create a shift. And I am. Why? Because I was there and I needed it. And that's why I'm happy to do it now. Does it get me in trouble sometimes? Yes. But my intent is always there. So understand that my belief around what, what it takes to get results has just come from my own story and my own journey. And honestly, anyone can teach you Facebook ads and anyone can teach you how to write some emails. The true shift is going to come from the personal development and the level of this and this that you install in your business that makes you a different caliber that makes you the elite that makes you the Navy seal style. That's not angry and, 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 uh, and an egotistic with people, it comes from a pure place of like, fuck this shit. You're never going to be in this place again. I don't want you to go to ever go back, but you have to grow to that next level so that you can help people and see the bullshit that they verbalize and they do. Okay. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Uh, so I hope you found it useful. This has gone off in a slightly different way. But I hope you get the message. True transformation comes from fitness, from nutrition, but the biggest piece is the piece around mindset. But you can't just learn that from a textbook. You have to live it. You have to be the one that says, I'm going to continue to grow and I'm going to make sacrifices where I read, where I grow, where I invest in myself, where I travel, where I go to events. You know, I've traveled to places like Peru to do crazy stuff, to have energy work, to I've spent probably at least half a million dollars on my, on my own personal growth. So I know what it takes to be successful. And I also know what it 
truly takes to get to the next level consciously because at the end of the day there's different levels of consciousness if you study, study things like spiral dynamics you'll know the different levels that we go through from ego up into different higher levels of achievement and then into more giving back and higher levels of consciousness and the things that i talk about now and i teach my clients i would have never never thought that i would talk about and live because my habits, my daily routines, the people I hang around, the life that I have now is because of those things that most people will never do. But it's a journey which I would like to share with you. And if you would like to adopt some of those things, and I can personally guarantee it won't only just be life changing for yourself, but it will be life changing for the people that you serve. So, results. That should be the focal point. And now there's an opportunity. Um, I've been covering this for the past 10 days with you. And if you're someone who wants to take it to that next level, you're someone who really wants to be held accountable, who wants to get there faster and you understand and it makes sense to you that the fastest way to get somewhere is not by just gathering information. It's by going in at the deep end, just like I did with my first mentor, that really changed my life. And, and that's what I do and we do at Fitpreneurs. This is not a, just a business coaching program. It's a self-development program too. Why? Because it has to be. Because through all the people and the trainers that I've helped, the biggest shifts come from when you combine the mind with the strategy. And then some magic happens. So the website to go to, okay, is fitpreneurs.com slash 10K. And there's an opportunity there. And the next challenge and the next points will come when you need to make a video application to be part of this new and never seen and experienced before level of coaching. And I mean coaching during a, a three phase program that will stretch you mentally in a virtual way um, that will include all of the things based on years of me coaching and training people, we create a whole new level from tracking data, from seeing the results. And I can personally assure you that it's not easy. This is something you just can't buy into. It's something that you have to apply for. And in fact, on the page that you're going to see, I'm trying my best to let you know and to edge people away because the truth be told, the top 3%, which I keep on talking about, the elite, if you look at the numbers and the comments on the YouTube videos versus the actual, those that have actually put comments, it's, it's pretty much around that number, it's 3%. So I'm, the qualification process for this has to get, a lot more strict if you want to do 10,000 a month because it's not for everyone, you know? So that's why I've, I've built in the points in this, this whole series. So if you can't accumulate a certain amount of points and you can't do a video application and you know, you're not willing to invest it yourself at a high level, it's, it's really maybe not the path for you yet. And that's totally okay. Because I talked about earlier in this video, lighting the match. So what happens is, I like the match and I love it when someone comes in and they just move and they go. And I want to work with more people like that. Why? Because that's what I was like. On every single coaching call, I asked questions. I took action. I followed through, which is why I have the life I have. I was willing to do things and get involved and immerse myself at a whole new level. So if this is ringing true for you and like, this is my time, then go to fitpreneurs.com slash 10 K and, uh, and have a look at the, uh, the video there. And maybe, just maybe we'll meet in person soon, hopefully, where I can help you serve more people. Because I know that by going through this process and the whole standard which you're going to have for yourself is really going to change not just your life, but the people you serve. Take it easy. And I hope you enjoyed the 10K in 10 Days series.